Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to another video. I'm here with updates on both the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific. Over in the Atlantic, we have these two tropical disturbances to talk about that could become our next two tropical cyclones, possibly hurricanes. And over in the Eastern Pacific, we will briefly talk about two active tropical cyclones there. But before I go into details with these systems, please ensure to subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right throughout the hurricane season. And you can also follow me on Instagram. My weather account is at the girl Danny, and my personal account is Danny Henry Official. Okay, so now over in the Eastern Pacific, so we have Tropical Depression Fausto and Tropical Storm Genevieve. And Genevieve, as I said earlier, is forecast to become a very deadly hurricane and we're actually seeing below average activity in the Eastern Pacific, all due to the developing La Nina that is also influencing this Atlantic hurricane season to be somewhat hyperactive and so first we want to look at fausto and so as you're seeing it is currently a tropical depression it was a tropical storm but it has been weakening due to unfavorable conditions and it should become post-tropical very very soon and so as of now it has winds of 30 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the west northwest at around 17 miles per hour so we could see fausto dissipating on by tomorrow or so and next we have genevieve and so as you are seeing now the storm has winds of 65 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the west northwest at 18 miles per hour and we could see it becoming a major hurricane by tuesday through to about thursday right there and so fortunately it is located well off the coast of mexico and regardless um we're not seeing any watches or warnings that are in place but regardless if you are planning to go to the beach or anything like that please just try to avoid that um, through most of this week because those rip currents can be very dangerous. So this could peak at a deadly category for a hurricane. And now over into the east, um, sorry, the Atlantic. And so um, as you're seeing, this is our first disturbance in Vest 97L. And as you're seeing, it is given a medium 50% chance of development through the next five days. And so we're expecting that it should cross over the Windward Islands um, through early this week and move across the Caribbean region. And as it moves into the Western Caribbean, conditions could be favorable for um, a tropical cyclone and then our next disturbance not yet designated as an invest but it is given a 60% chance of development through the next five days so this is expected to take a more northern track from um, invest 97L and it could be a very significant threat to portions of the Caribbean possibly the Bahamas and the Gulf we don't know what is going to happen we just have to wait and see but for the potential intensity we have half of our models say that it will not become a tropical storm and the other half agree that it will be a tropical storm and not just that they all take it up to be in a category 1 hurricane 1 taking it as category to status and then for the potential path of it here we have um very limited models as well and so um they're showing that it is going to be moving on a more western track and then turn to the west-northwest. One showing that it could curve into the eastern gulf and possibly make landfall um, along the Florida Panhandle. One showing that it could just move over into the gulf where we could see some intensification. But as far as the winter is concerned for the, um, for development of the greens, showing favorable conditions. The yellows showing neutral and the reds unfavorable. So we see that it is going to be moving into the eastern Caribbean which has those favorable um, the favorable wind shear that is going to encourage some tropical development and also we're expecting that favorable um, favorable conditions should persist as it is going to be moving across the Caribbean region possibly into the Gulf of Mexico and so guys the next two names on the list for this hurricane season are Laura and Marco so it seems likely that these two tropical systems could become our next name tropical cyclones possibly before or by the end of this week and we are beaten records that were set in 2005 so if we have these two we are going to be breaking records again if they form by the end of this week guys and so do you think that we will have to go to the greek alphabet um to name storms because the list will be exhausted well let me know in the comments and so guys that is really it for this video and if you found it if you found this video to be pretty informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share thoughts in the comments or ask a question. I'll try to respond as best as soon as I can. And remember to always be otherwise. Now we'll keep giving updates on the tropics.